Oh boy, this is like a message from God, man. So you know how I went on my tyrannical rant yesterday talking about how gamers are as much of a contributor to the gaming industry's downfall as is the industry's companies. Well, the literal representation of the type of gamer I'm referring to showed up on my doorstep and today is a perfect day to make a video about him. I had an idea for a series like this but I didn't know what to call it as the footage I had previously was from people I didn't have serious beef with. Just the usual testosterone filled shit talk to having a penis and being competitive brings, you feel me? But as I said, God gave me the rod to fish my food with and the bait is my skills of Valkyrie because boy oh boy did we fucking catch a live one. And in the process of finding a name for this series, it hit me like bricks because this kid is the poster boy of a sore loser. The poster boy of making excuses. The poster boy of cheap tactics. This is what a scrub looks like. So a little backstory. I've been up the past 24 hours off 3 hours of sleep making moves in real life and the internet because 2017 is the year, you feel me? The year to grow and glow as they say and thus so consistency is a must. I refuse to leave any stragglers in this journey of a thousand miles, so it's imperative I keep you guys as excited as I am. Trust me, I'm working hard, but I'm having so much fun, I'm hardly working. I'm being real. So anyway, while I'm letting another video render, I get bored and say, hey, I'm gonna play for honor while I shoot the shit with Doug in my party. I beat a few niggas' asses, they rage, quit, whatever, and sure enough, I come across the man of the hour, although at the time I did not know it, Mac Goober. My guy had an emblem with the kind of depth that told me he eats alphabet soup with a fork and sure enough he picks the character that really nails down that I grip my pencils with both hands feeling it I had in my gut. Now see I haven't shown footage yet but just to give you an idea of how easy it is to dominate in a 1v1 with the Valkyrie after patch 1.03, well let me just show you and actually stop talking. The Valk is very viable now, a very strong, Swiss army knife character that can adapt to just about any situation. You know, you saw that, right? He got beat up in a corner and after that match he probably went and cried in the car. He queues up again and for me that was a sign of sportsmanship because man I can't tell you the matches upon matches where I've had some butthurt hooligans slam their routers into a trash can as they get beamed up by the institute with a synth dropping in the fight for him. So I give dude the benefit of the doubt, and sure enough, zoop, zop, zippity, wham, wham, kablam, he gets his ass whooped the end. You feel me? You get the point. This is where shit gets jiggy. I keep whooping his ass the whole time I'm talking to Doug about random bullshit and how I'm afraid bad players are finna start bitching about the Valk. And as I get ready to send this dude a friendly message saying good game, this pops up. Lol, what a cheap character. Try being a bigger bitch, why don't you? Pathetic. So I'm like, well, let me get the recording software out. He took what I felt was an innocent set of matches into what was really a grudge fest where some butthurt man child would get his ass whooped and kept saying, maybe if I try the same three moves again, this time it'll work. So I'm in the messages like, I'm not even trying, uh, would you like me to? And this dude is so triggered he's taking the time to type these mid game and I'm just giggling to myself like, wow, this is pathetic. With a character like that, you don't have to. So I go from like. 30% to 50% of my full power to piece this nigga up at sonic speeds and he promptly sends this message. Lol, you're only confirming how big of a pussy you are. And so now I'm just like, this dude cannot be any more stereotypical. He has evolved past the coontastic comedy and we're starting to dwell into the realm of butthurt buffoonery as I reply with, nah, on the contrary actually. I've yet to say anything disrespectful to you and you're so butt frustrated you're losing to me just proving the point I made. Shitty players blame everything but themselves. Which he promptly says, Shitty players use OP characters like you! Which I found incredibly insulting, because yes, I actually used Nabushi from time to time and I find her quite enjoyable. But more so, I have had to struggle so hard at maintaining relevance with the Val. Patch 1.03 comes along and now, total shocker, shitty players deflect and point fingers at a class or player they can't beat. It's so frustrating, and it's fucking pitiful. 
Anyway, check this out, right? I beat his ass again and 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 again. I swear on my life and the mother of my children to be that I have 55 minutes of video roughly on just this dude. And in those 55 minutes, he won one single match. He was so predictable, so two dimensional, so basic in his play style that even Doug, who wasn't even playing or watching his movements, could tell how he was playing with the Orochi. He's playing as an Orochi? He's playing as a Prestige 4 Orochi. <laughs> Probably playing like a faggot. Uh, dodge left, dodge right, with quick attack. Exactly, exactly. Dodge left, dodge double. right, quick attack. Blade to his hip and the double tap. That's all this nigga is doing. You read him like a book. He's a basic ass nigga that I'm beating the fuck out of. But what is he doing? Oh, it's the, it's cuz the, uh, it's cuz, it's cuz the Valkyrie. It's overpowered. Now he's gonna go for the grab. Watch. Yeah, go fucking for the grab, idiot! Spam the, spam fucking the idiot! Tap. Exactly. Go for the grab, spam the overhead double tap. That's I swear to God on my life, you not even watching this shit, and that's all he did this round. Into the guys are twice. This nigga bird. Round three. Why? Wow, I bet you're gonna get as soon as he if he gets a fucking win off of you like that. Leave, nigga. He's gonna he's gonna leave and then send you a message. Show you what's what, pitiful nigga. Oh, he got me by a mistake. Oh, I finally beat you. Yeah, he beat me uh, barely. He got a grab on me as I backed up. Watch this nigga talk mad shit. Watch this nigga talk mad shit. Uh, he won one round because he literally just pushed me into the geyser twice, though. So I'm not really, I'm not really like tripping. Watch. As for the one match he won, I was worn out. An hour of making this nigga consider suicide, and I was fucking tired, okay? I was motherfucking tired. Sure enough, though, I just shrugged the victory off, congratulate him, and as I called it, this sore loser, graveling piece of human boo boo water says, Oh, hey, what do you know? Once you stop using cheap abilities, you start sucking. And then he leaves. But that's not the end of our story. I say, eh, okay. I guess I'll queue again and play one more match and dip. And guess who I re queued with? Mac, it's only overpowered if I can't beat it, motherfucking goober. As you can tell, Mac is the type of nigga who won't wear a condom because he's not scared to catch feelings. So, of course, this overly emotional beta male feels his entire existence is on the line if he loses this match. So, my sleep depraved ass decides to try to somewhat punish and zone him out, I guess. I end up losing the first two matches because dude just does what every Orochi does spam grab, blah, 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 dash R1, blah, 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 overhead double tap, blah, 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 blah. And the Valkyrie's health is so low, this bitch could die in a tickle fight, so it only takes like three licks to do me in. So your boy turns his hat backwards like Ash Ketchum and serves him up at the speed of light. And sure enough, I tie it up yet again 2-2 and the map is primed for slapping this boy off to make sure we get a really nice cleanup on his soon to be shattered ego. So here's where I do more than go on autopilot. I catch on that in our fights, his attempt to dodge my grab after the shove is to go into a light attack as he side dashes. So I just say, okay, I'm anticipated. A simple parry and... I win. Now see, beforehand I was respectful, but after I won I made sure to get my message across. Well, now you can leave as my bitch. Short, simple, sweet. The arch was a CJ way. All jokes aside, this is what I was saying in the previous video. The problem with online competitive games nowadays is not the games themselves, but the communities in them. Pathetic, emotionally fragile Zeta male bitches who can't handle someone being better than them, so they try to resort to merciless name calling and making up excuses and claims that make the average man look at them and wonder how it feels to be a woman trapped in a man's body. You see, the 2010s have cultivated a cancerous cause and effect to community based patching where gamers force the hands of developers to tailor things that they want otherwise. They simply exasperate the situation to seem like victims. It's our fault that we soft stroke and slap on the wrist this kind of behavior instead of shooting it in the face like the rabid dog that it is. We allow gaming to be infested with this toxic mindset, and yes, I understand that every game has its sore losers, but I have never played a game in my entire gaming career that has as many cancerous, racist, butthurt, 
fe males that take a healthy rivalry to an unhealthy level because they have the confidence of a two dollar prostitute that i have playing for honor and destiny and the last of us and uncharted if that level of denial if that level of deflection if that level of pure asinine arrogance doesn't tell you that competitive gaming is at a decline in terms of player quality and capability just know that I have 72 gigabytes of rage quits on my hard drive on a game that hasn't even been out for a fucking month yet.